we're going to give you a long look. Well, here he comes. <laughs> here he comes. You've heard of uh, the current fad, long haircuts or, uh, or lack of haircuts. This fellow doesn't take this jacket off that it seems he's wearing. That's part of him. There he goes. That's Bobby Davis's beast. And man, he's like some Neanderthal fella. Look at that. That certainly isn't a mohair suit, but I haven't seen mohair. That's a terrible pun. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this match is one fall. Introducing in this corner from Brooklyn, New York, at 218 pounds, Pete Sanchez. His opponent, at 240, The Beast. Someone in back of me just yelled out, The Animal, and boy, they, they aren't far wrong. Huh. Pete Sanchez, the very likable Brooklyn boy. He certainly is... Uh, has his work cut out for him in this match. The Beast doesn't understand any uh, English, that's for sure. I saw him in one match last week, and I imagine many of you did. And all he knows is just keep going. Just destroy the opposition. Davis says, I don't, I don't want to get out yet, because the minute I take my hands off him, he's unleashed. Well, there's the bell, and there he goes. Sanchez bounced across the ring. And the beach a beast after him, like a wild, just typically like a wild animal, swarming all over him. The beast battering away. Sanchez hasn't had a chance to really get started. He's shaken up already. Promoter Whitey Carlson is ringing the bell again with one of his great wrestling shows in the beautiful Island Garden at West Hempstead, Friday night, February 18th. He's headlining the bout all Long Island fans have been looking forward to. Hitting Bobby Davis's new sensation, the fellow you're looking at right now, the Beast, in a title bout against the world's heavyweight champion, Bruno San Martino. You'd better get those seats early. There'll be no advance in admission prices for Whitey Carlson's Wrestling Spectacular at the Island Garden in West Hempstead, Long Island, Friday night, February 18th. Well, you can hear those forearms. He's not too uh, tall, but man, when he lands those forearms, you can hear the crash all over the arena. Bobby Davis meant it literally when he said, I sick them on people. And there's Davis watching the, watching his beast batter Sanchez into the corner. Now he feels the referee isn't, is giving Sanchez too much time to recover. Sanchez trying to counter with a flying head scissors, but the beast refuses to go down, just rams him into the corner. <laughs> the padding on one turnbuckle uh, has been uh, unhooked. And the beast apparently has spotted it. 
There, there's no protection when he picks, uh, say, there you are. You, our cameras give you a shot of it. And when uh, the beast rams Sanchez into that, that's just plain metal that Sanchez is being met with. The beast, a human battering ram. Bobby Davis waves him on. Davis grabbing Sanchez's leg. The beast doesn't need any help, but He's getting some from Davis anyway. I no sooner gets out of the hands of Davis than the beast is on him in all his fury again. The VA says that thousands of children of living veterans are now eligible for school benefits formerly available only to children of certain deceased veterans. Those additionally eligible are children of veterans permanently and totally disabled by illness or injury attributable to their service. Full details are available from the VA. A wild animal-like roar from the beast as he literally throws Sanchez across the ring. A beast going behind, clamping on a reverse headlock, it's close to the throat, takes a handful of his face. Notice how the beast is always watching over in the corner at Davis. Ooh. And Sanchez went down like he was hit with a club. Into the corner. Well, that's uh, that one is uh, well padded, fortunately, for Pete. Oh, the beast has him in a rib-crushing bear hug. Throws him down. And a roar of triumph as he clamps on the Boston Crab. The Boston Crab. And Sanchez is forced to uh, call uncle, but that doesn't stop the beast. He's waiting for the word from Davis, and Davis taking his own good time about telling him to release it. Well, Davis is doing his best to indicate, and finally succeeds, in making the beast understand that he's to let him go. All right, Sam. Well, I gave Sam the signal, but apparently the beast doesn't even want Sanchez in there to hear this. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, on a submission hold, the beast. There you get a good look at him, look. Well, he understands that, that it's all over. And now he's gonna help Davis down. Almost childlike in his... Uh...